Okay, so here we have qualification match 22 with 1251 playing good defense with 233. Yeah, and one of the things we really want to focus on when we're talking about defense, especially in this game, is sort of the effective versions of defense you might see as we go through the elimination matches here and as the season goes on. So first off, what I want to highlight is 1251 is definitely trying to stop pink. They That is their main goal. Uh, and what they're really doing is trying to get in the way as much as possible and sort of get 233 offline. They're having a little bit of trouble with 4471 kind of interacting with them, but then 4471 uh, goes away and now they can really spend all of their time trying to stop 233. The big idea here is to get in the way of your opponent. And with each face-off you have, you want to do so without letting go of any zone defense. So you notice that they're staying in between the rocket ship and the cargo ship and just denying 233 access to either of those areas. Mm -hmm. And in the next match we're going to see here is match 43. What we're going to see uh, is 67-22 in blue against 386 in red. And this is a pretty good example of some moderate zone defense with some bumping at the other end. And what you'll see here is after 386 got past them there, as they're trying to go back to the scoring station, 67-22 was just in the way trying to delay voltage as much as possible. And you'll see that here again too. They're staying put and basically just juking and seeing where 386 is going. The idea here is to not chase your opponents. You want to stay in the area and just slow their cycle down. Yeah, when you're defending, if you're chasing, you are losing. Instead of trying to chase after the robot that's just gotten past you, you know they're going to try to come back. Set up for that next engagement. Make sure you're in the best position possible to delay them either coming back to their scoring object or to their scoring objective. Uh, then uh, actually 6722 is really helped in this match by some really great scoring from their uh, partners and with that all they know that they don't need to stop 386 they just need to slow them down enough so that the high powered scoring that they have on their alliance can actually make up the difference and that is in addition to the climb they got at the end that's what made the difference in this match exactly in this match they won by a total of three points but you'll see uh, additional penalties bump them up ahead to give them the extra cushion yeah and that's one of the best things you want as a defender is robots you can count on to get offensive scoring. All right, we have 632 against 179 with some very aggressive defense. Yeah, and what you'll see here is a little bit about what we talked about earlier, which is the zone defense style, waiting for your opponent to come to you and making sure you prevent them from getting to the space they want to be in. Now, we have, in addition to that, some very aggressive driving by 6322 here and some very aggressive driving by 179, who is one of the fastest robots we've seen at this event. Yes, and you notice that with 6322, they kind of stay in their zone, and but when they notice that Swamp is getting ready to score or just lining up, they go ahead and tap him a few times just to make sure that their alignment um, makes things difficult for them. Yeah, and one of the things I like about 6322's style here is that, again, once 179 gets past them, they don't chase them. They know they can't catch up, and they know that they can't do any good over where 179 is going to go, but what they can do is stay around 179's objectives. That's the, that's the name of the game in defense in this. You want to know your opponent's objectives know where they're going and basically get there first to take up the space that they would be taking up. I noticed earlier that you kind of climbed on top of their opponents so it might be a better idea to climb or not climb but to be able to engage your opponents on with the bumper side full not where your ball intake is normally located. Yeah you always want as much bumper between you and the other robot as possible so you try to stay low keep the contact low and prevent yourself from flipping over. Now the next match we're going to look at uh, is match 40 coming up and we're going to focus a little bit on the defensive matchup between 1251 who you'll see in blue and the main scorer on red 86. What's interesting about this particular match is that we see 7728 come over from scoring and try to keep 1251 out of 86's way. This is the first example we really see of counter defense at the Orlando Regional. Yes, yeah, it's an elevated form of defense but it's important here to allow th uh, 380, or, sorry, 86 the opportunity to be able to shoot. Yeah, and it's, a, it's actually the incredibly difficult form of defense because while it's really easy to take up space as a defender, trying to move that defender out of the space without impeding your partner is one of the trickiest things to do. And you'll see 77, uh, you'll see 77, 28 struggle with that a little bit. What they want to do is get in between 86 and 1251, but because 1251 has the better positioning, a lot of times they end up just shoving 1251 into 86. And right here, they're able to finally get in position in between 1251 to deny them access and be able to successfully score. Yeah, and now what 7728 wants to do is be the gatekeeper to 1251. They're basically the bouncer for the red zone at this point. Stay in between, keep them away from the rocket, let give 86 the space to work. 
and it looks like in this case it was effective enough to get them the edge and to get them the victory. So yeah, that's some of the defense we've been seeing. I'm really looking forward to seeing how defense evolves in this game. Exactly, especially moving on to eliminations where you have more opportunities and not so much with the ranking points as a critical factor. Yeah, one of the big things to remember when you're facing defense as an offensive robot in the elimination matches is there's no priority for those rockets. You don't get any ranking points, you don't get any bonus points for completing them. If you're as a defender around the rocket you were thinking of going to, Go to the other rocket. Exactly. And it also takes a lot of effort to be able to put latches up on the top part of the rocket, which also means it takes more time to be able to get the same amount of points you can easily do elsewhere. Yep. All right. Back to the desk. Let's see how the Orlando Regional Elimination Matches turn out.